All right, the next question is from Jim Funkhauser. And this one's, this one's a little wordy, but a uh, great question. Comparing the same band material, one band set being six inches in length, the other 10 inches in length. If drawn to acquire the same pull and poundage, obviously the 10 inch will have to be pulled further. Will the 10 inch band due to more band length produce better performance, even though they're both pulling the same poundage? Hope this makes sense, thanks. Okay, Jim, first of all, let's let go of this concept of poundage. It really is not a valid way to assess slingshot performance. I know that it's very much, um, it's a the archery manufacturer's standard, the AMO of poundage on bows is how we uh, specify the performance, the potential performance of a bow. But slingshots are not bows. Their engine, the rubber, performs very differently than the limbs of a bow, whether it be a traditional bow or a compound bow. So let's drop the poundage and look back at how latex actually works. Okay, so if we have a band that is set up at six inches, which is close to what this one is, and another one set up at 10 inches, which is close to what this one is, which one would have more uh, velocity? All right, well, one thing that you didn't specify is how far out are these bands drawn? Now, I think that's where you're going with the poundage, that you have to draw to a certain length to hit a poundage. But let that number go. That's really not relevant. Now, if we think about the way a slingshot works, it accelerates the projectile by retracting to its relaxed position as quickly as possible. Now, it stands to reason if we can put more energy into the projectile over a longer period, we have a longer acceleration cycle. So a band that is drawn out longer means it retracts for a longer period of time, thereby theoretically increasing the velocity. And the velocity is what we're looking for here. That's our ultimate goal is to have more velocity for less work. One of the very reasons that uh, compound bows work so well. Think about it this way. Let's take a 22 long rifle. If we shoot a 22 long rifle out of a carbine versus a bench gun, same load, we're probably going to see a little bit better performance velocity-wise out of the bench gun. Reason being is that you had more time for the bullet to accelerate down the barrel with the propellant pushing it, all other things being equal. Just like that with slingshots. So if you want to get the most velocity out of your bands, you've got a couple of choices. You can either up your tapers, your, the width of your band for a set draw length. You can go to a lighter projectile or you can increase your elongation. So in a roundabout way, I think we've answered your question. If you have a band set that is six inches and another one that's 10 inches and you draw them out to where they've hit a, a poundage as a reference point, the one that's drawn out further will theoretically accelerate the projectile faster. But I think the biggest takeaway would be to let go of the poundage concept and focus on how latex works and what's going to work best for your shooting style. It doesn't do you any good to shoot fast if you're missing. So if a butterfly style shooting doesn't suit your style and decreases your accuracy, you may prefer to give up the velocity in favor of accuracy. However, if you're just out for top velocity, always, always, always increase your elongation. Hope that answered your question. I think this is a great topic for comments, so please leave them in the uh, section below. And as always, like and subscribe. Thanks a lot, Jim.